Please fill in the blanks to balance these nuclear equations. Also, please identify what type of decay or nuclear reaction each equation describes. For the first one, we have this number plus 1 equals to 14. So this here must be 13. And this number plus 1 equals to 7, so down here must be 6. Of course, 6 also goes with carbon. And then this one has an alpha particle. What is the alpha particle? Alpha, an alpha particle is a helium nucleus. It's a helium-4-2 nucleus. So 234 equals to this plus 4, so this must be 230. And this is 90 equals to this plus 2, so this is 88. And this here, we have an electron coming out, so this must be 0, negative 1. We can use these two numbers to help us balance the equation. 239 equals to this plus 0, so this must be 239. 92 equals to that plus negative 1, so it must be 93 over here. And then this here for the neutron, Neutron has one nucleon and a zero proton. So we put in one zero to help us balance this, e this equation. And uh, here I have one plus 235 equals to 133 plus 98 plus something times one. So we can solve for this question mark and it turns out to be five. And then we can do the bottom one here, 0 plus 92 equals to 51 plus the blank plus 5 times 0. So the blank ends up being 41. Now let's look at the type of decay or nuclear reaction each equation describes. This one, we have two nuclei combining to become a bigger one, so this one is a fusion. This here produces an alpha particle. It is an alpha decay. This is a decay because uh, it starts with one single nucleus. There is no external stimulus involved. This one is also a decay because it starts with uh, one single nucleus without any external stimulus. And it produces a electron, so this is a negative beta decay. For this, a neutron triggers this uh, very large nucleus to split into two mid-sized nuclei. Oh, whoops, I forgot this. This is uh, Sb. So this is a fission reaction.